Singapura cat versus Asakat cat. What are the differences between these two cat breeds? The Singapura was developed in the 1970s from cats found in Singapore, the Lion City, by cat fanciers Hal and Tommy Meadow. Their cats Tickle, Puss, Tess, George, and Gladys, plus Chico, adopted later from a shelter in Singapore, were the foundation of the pedigreed Singapura, although cats like them had probably lived in Southeast Asia for at least a decade if not longer. His small size of 4 to 8 pounds, big eyes and ears for his size, and his sepia-toned coat that gives him the look of having stepped out of a 19th century photograph. You aren't going dotty when you see an Aussie cat. You are indeed seeing a small spotted cat, but he's not wild. Far from it. The Aussie cat was created through crosses between Siamese, Abyssinian and American shorthair cats. He might be named after the Ocelot, a small South American wild felid, but he's all domestic cat. The Aussie cat is one of those happy accidents that sometimes occur in cat breeding. They are also recognized by all other cat registries. The Singapura has three distinguishing characteristics, his small size of 4 to 8 pounds, big eyes and ears for his size, and his sepia-toned coat that gives him the look of having stepped out of a 19th century photograph. The short, fine coat has a silky texture. Its color is called sepia goody, described as dark brown ticking on a background color that resembles warm old ivory. Each hair has at least two bands of dark ticking separated by light bands, ending with a dark tip. The fur on the muzzle, chin, chest and belly are the color of unbleached muslin. On the face, the Singapura looks as if he's been playing in the makeup box, with dark lines extending from his brows and the outside corners of his hazel, green or yellow eyes, dark lines extending downward from the inner corner of the eyes along the bridge of the nose, called cheetah lines, and dark brown lines around the eyes, lips, and nose. In contrast, his nose leather is a pale to dark salmon color, and his paw pads are rosy brown. The Singapura may be small, but he's by no means delicate. His body is stocky and muscular, and his neck is short and thick. Heavily muscled legs taper to small, short, oval feet. His tail is short and slender with a dark tip. The Ossicat stands out for his spotted coat, which gives him the look of a small wildcat. The short, smooth, satiny coat comes in 12 colors, all of which feature dark thumbprint-shaped spots on a light background. Like the Abyssinian, which was one of his ancestors, the Ossicat has what's called an agouti coat, meaning that each hair has several bands of color, the exception is the tip of the tail. The spots are formed where those bands of color meet, rows of round spots run along the spine, and more spots are scattered across the shoulders and rear end, extending down the legs. Broken bracelets of spots encircle the legs and broken necklaces adorn the throat. Large, while scattered spots appear on the side of the body and on the belly. The tail has what look like horizontal brush strokes going round it, sometimes alternating with spots. Markings around the eyes and on the cheeks make the Ossicat look as if he has been at work with a mascara tube. The forehead is marked with an M, for mischief, no doubt, and small spots cover the lower neck and shoulders. Some Oshi cats have classic, mackerel and tick tabby coats, which are beautiful, but aren't correct for the show ring. Those cats have the same great Ossicat personality, however, and make wonderful pets. The Ossicat has a medium size to large body. He is muscular yet graceful. Large ears corner the modified wedge-shaped head. Some Oshi cats have tufts of fur that extend vertically from the tips of the ears. Large almond-shaped eyes angle slightly upward and can be any color except blue. The lengthy tail has a dark tip. Hello! This video is sponsored by BMix Pets. Are you looking for high-quality cat collars at an affordable cost? Check out bmixpets.com. Use coupon code KITTENLIFE to get 20% off. The tiny Singapore has a tiny little voice, but this mischievous and active cat makes his presence known in other ways, chasing small balls down the hall tap dancing on keyboards, climbing curtains or anything else that will place him on high, or jumping on your shoulder as you walk by to go for a ride. He retains his playfulness well into adulthood. The Singapore loves people and isn't shy about meeting people. He likes being a lap cat and is an excellent bed warmer on cold winter nights. Despite his busy nature, he is a gentle friend who will put aside his activities to keep you company when you're feeling under the weather. The rest of the time? Watch out! He is as curious as cats come and will be into anything that looks interesting. The Singapore does best in a home where he will have plenty of company, human or animal. The devoted and playful Ossicat loves people and will trail their footsteps through the house or ride on a shoulder. Guests are welcomed by this generally social cat as new opportunities for petting or lap sitting. Oshi cats don't even mind being carried around as long as they are with you. As with any animal, they come in a range of personalities, so some are shyer than others. 
Favorite activities include retrieving toys and learning to walk on a leash. Oshi cats are highly intelligent and learn tricks easily. Puzzle toys are a good way to keep them occupied and entertained. Carefully put away anything you don't want him to have. He is perfectly capable of figuring out how to open doors or undo latches. His Siamese ancestors bequeath the Osakat a tendency to be vocal, but he is not as loud or as demanding. He is sensitive and will respond to nothing more than a verbal correction. Although the Osakat is adaptable, he doesn't like being left alone. Be sure he has another cat or dog as a companion if you aren't home during the day. Singapore is short, smooth coat is easy to care for with a quick weekly combing. Polishing it with a chamois will make it shine. A bath is rarely necessary. The Osakat's short, smooth coat is simple to groom with weekly brushing or combing to remove dead hairs. A bath is rarely necessary. Brush the teeth to prevent periodontal disease. Daily dental hygiene is best, but weekly brushing is better than nothing. Trim the nails every couple of weeks. Wipe the corners of the eyes with a soft, damp cloth to remove any discharge. Use a separate area of the cloth for each eye so you don't run the risk of spreading any infection. Check the ears weekly. If they look dirty, wipe them out with a cotton ball or soft damp cloth moistened with a 50 to 50 mixture of cider vinegar and warm water. Avoid using cotton swabs, which can damage the interior of the ear. Keep the litter box spotlessly clean. Cats are very particular about bathroom hygiene. It's a good idea to keep Singapore and Osakat as indoor-only cats to protect them from diseases spread by other cats, attacks by dogs or coyotes, and the other dangers that face cats who go outdoors, such as being hit by a car. Cats who go outdoors also run the risk of being stolen by someone who would like to have such a beautiful cat without paying for it. Singapore is playful and smart and can be a good friend to a child who treats him nicely. He's one of those cats who enjoys playing fetch and learning tricks, and his energy level means he won't wear out before the child does. He is happy to live with other cats and cat-friendly dogs, too, thanks to his amiable disposition. Introduce pets slowly and in controlled circumstances to ensure that they learn to get along together. Singaporeans usually get along well with other animals and seem to prefer living with some kind of company, not thriving when left alone all day. The gentle and playful Osakat is well suited to life with families with children and cat-friendly dogs. He can learn tricks, enjoys interactive toys, and loves the attention he receives from children who treat him politely and with respect. Supervise young children and show them how to pet the cat nicely. Instead of holding or carrying the cat, have them sit on the floor and pet him. It's likely that the Osakat will dominate other cats in the household and may even rule the dogs. Always introduce any pets, even other cats, slowly and in a controlled setting. If you enjoyed this video, kindly press the like button. Also don't forget to subscribe with notifications on, so that you don't miss out on videos like this. Thank you for watching.